My name is Ailey Sinclair. I am the Zero Waste Coordinator here at Locavore Grocery. Um, Locavore started about six years ago. Um, we're a social enterprise, uh, like an ethical supermarket. Um, we are kind of attempting to tackle um, local food, um, sustainable food, and providing access to those things to the local community. So we are funded by Zero Waste Scotland's uh, Waste Implementation Fund, um, and so they've given us uh, £100,000 to basically install the infrastructure that we have here at the shop, which provides the plastic, the reduced plastic shopping experience. So things like loose good containers, um, we've got a, a milk vending machine which supplies um, milk in glass bottles rather than plastic, um, all of our kind of oils and vinegars and sauces are all sold in jars uh, loose, um, so customers are really encouraged to bring their own um, packaging and containers and refill from there rather than buying everything individually packaged. Um, I'm Marissa Lippiot, I'm Head of Resource Efficiency at Zero Waste Scotland. Zero Waste Scotland um, is a publicly funded organisation funded by the Scottish Government and European Regional Development Funds and we exist to help consumers and householders, local authorities and organisations across Scotland be more efficient with resources, scarce resources that are valuable to us across, across the economy. Yes, yeah, so plastic um, has really become quite an issue in the last few months after the Blue Planet programme, but it's something that we've been working on for a long, long time. And what's happened now is that public awareness has really increased, and that's to all of our advantage. Um, you know, we really have to have to look at how plastic is used across the economy and also to try to reduce it as much as possible. Where we can't reduce it, we really, really must try to recycle it and keep the value within that plastic and keep it circulating around the economy. Within our dried loose goods area, things like oats, grains, flakes, pulses, all that kind of kind of stuff is really popular. We can't actually fill, fill the oats <laughs> quick enough. Uh, people kind of love it. Um, we, by buying in bulk, we can pass on that saving to our customers. So while everything is organic, um, it is a really, really competitive price. However, we should remember that some plastic packaging is necessary and quite often it's difficult to weigh up how much plastic packaging is required as opposed to, you know, sometimes without that plastic packaging there may be some food waste caused. A classic example that's given is often with regard to the cucumber. The humble cucumber without packaging will last three or four days but with a plastic cover it tends to be 14-15 days sometimes. So it's just weighing up. We don't want food waste but we do not want excess packaging either across the, across the system. Packaging things like meats and cheese and yogurt, it's there. We're currently like there's no there's no solution to that yet. So we're we still do produce packaging and we still sell stuff packaged. We are working with a number of organisations um, from large retailers, UK wide retailers, all the way down to small local retailers like this one we have here today. Um, and what we want to do is really encourage collaboration. I think across just um, I guess across universities, with industry and with, with consumers to try to work out what it is, what's the next thing that's coming. Now I know that there's some interesting innovations going on at the moment, very early stage and it might take us three, five years to get to the point where we've got a sustainable plastic packaging system. Um, but at the moment we're really keen for anyone with ideas to get in touch with us and we have funding available at Zero Waste Scotland. Um, my advice to other retailers would be uh, to go for it, take the leap of faith, it's, it's not as hard <laughs> as it seems. You know, um, buying the infrastructure, kind of learning all about the infrastructure and buying it was a really interesting journey so, uh, and, and our customers are, are very grateful and um, are really, really happy that, uh, that we have this here and that we've brought this to the south side of Glasgow. So, um, yeah, I would say to them to go for it. The momentum's there and I think we've really got to make the most of it. It's all about behaviour change.